Hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, uh, because we are out of time. Uh, thank you for joining the IEEE EMBS webinar uh, series on the frontiers of uh, biomedical imaging and analysis. Uh, my name is Ping Kun Yan. Uh, I'm an associate professor of uh, biomedical engineering at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Uh, I'm co-hosting -co this webinar with uh, Drs. Uh, Ahmed Koskin, Marlene De Bruni, and uh, Maria Singuraru. We are a part of uh, the IEEE BIIT Technical Committee. So today is our great pleasure to have uh, Professor Lu Ping Zhou uh, to be our uh, guest speaker. Uh, Dr. Zhou is an associate professor in School of uh, Electrical and Information Engineering at uh, the University of Sydney. She obtained her uh, PhD from Australian National University and got her postdoctoral training in University of uh, North Carolina at uh, Chapel Hill. Dr. Zhou works on the interface of uh, medical image analysis, machine learning, and uh, contribution, and has published uh, more than 100 research papers in these fields. Her current research is focused on the medical image analysis with the statistical graphical models and the deep learning, as well as um, general visual recognition problems. She was a recipient of the prestigious ARC, uh, which stands for uh, Australian Research Council uh, DACRA Award, uh, Discovery Earlier Early Career Research Award. I think actually this is uh, equivalent to the uh, uh, NASA Career Award in the US, very prestigious award. Dr. Zhou is the associate editor of the top journals in the medical imaging area, actually transactions on medical imaging and pattern recognition. So she is also a senior uh, member of uh, IEEE. Uh, today, Dr. Zhou will speak about her research on explore correlated image text features for automated radiographical report generation. So without further ado, let's welcome our uh, speaker. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, thank Prof. Uh, Ian for the invitation. Uh, I would like to take this chance to uh, introduce our recent research about the automated generation of radiographic report. So before talking about uh, our work, I would like to uh, give a brief introduction about myself. So I'm an associate professor in School of Electrical and Information Engineering, the University of Sydney. And my research goal is to help advance medical image analysis towards doseless, labelless, and imageless. So being doseless means uh, we, we will try to uh, make the medical acquisition, me medical image acquisition and analysis to be conducted at low dose level. So making a medical imaging safer and widely applicable. And being liberalist is to uh, reduce the dependency on manual annotations. And being imageless does not mean we don't need images, but emphasize the move from the intermediate images to the generation of text report. So I conducted my, uh, research in medical image analysis at different semantic levels. So, um, from, uh, so, at, so this covers from the uh, low level image synthesis, such as the PET and the MR image synthesis, and through the middle level uh, image segmentation, such as the brain tumor segmentation, and to the uh, high level medical image uh, classification, such as the brain network analysis. And my recent research interest in medical report generation is a uh, nature extension of my previous research. And this is the focus of today's talk. Okay, and the radiographic data grow at a disproportionate rate against the supply of trained readers. And this has uh, dramatically increased the workload uh, of the radiologists. For example, in Australia, uh, the average workload for radiologists has increased more than seven times in the past five years. And this is an international trend. The high volume and complexity of cases put increasing in pressure on radiologists uh, to read uh, more studies uh, in a shorter period. So this results in the reading fatigue and long working hours and causing uh, diagnostic errors. And this problem is especially pronounced in emergency radiology reporting, especially during the on-call hours. 
So therefore, the automated generation of medical reports is in high demand to reduce workload, mitigate diagnostic errors, and speed up clinic workflow. So this is an example of a typical radiographic report. It consists of two parts. The impression part consists of a one sentence summary about the conclusion of the whole image. And the findings part consists of a detailed explanation about the observation. And sometimes uh, the medical texts related to the uh, image are also available. So medical report generation is a complex AI task uh, that focuses on generates the text report to describe the visual content of the input medical image. And it can be roughly categorized into five groups uh, based on whether the report generation is structured or whether it is template-based. And my research focuses on the unstructured multi-sentence report generation. Medical report generation is rooted in a more general computer vision topic of image captioning. So in image captioning, uh, for a given uh, image, an image captioning model uh, uh, generates a caption to uh, narrate the uh, visual content of the input image. And the classic image captioning model consists of uh, an image encoder to extract the visual features from the input image and a text decoder to generate the caption. And the most existing medical report generation models follow such encoder and decoder structure. So they usually use the CN model to, uh, as the image encoder and the RN model, the recurrent neural network model uh, as a text decoder. However, as we know that the RNs uh, are not very good at the generate the uh, long text. So therefore recently, um, many uh, medical report generation models employ a hierarchically structured STM model as a text decoder. So these models contains a sentence LSTM to generate the topics, and these topics are sent to the uh, word LSTM to uh, generate the text output word by word. So despite, despite the recent achievements of image captioning models, uh, when we directly apply these image captioning models to medical report generation, uh, usually there is a visible uh, performance decline. This is because compared with general image captioning, medical images and reports are very similar to each other. And therefore, uh, those uh, visual uh, differences corresponding to the findings of clinical importance are often fine grade. And moreover, those disease-related words may be submerged by many similar sentences describing the common content of the images. So in the worst case, this may lead to the abnormal to be misinterpreted as the normal. So to uh, deal with these challenges, medical report generation methods uh, apply different strategies. So some of the models develop a attention mechanism to link image and text. And some uh, models, they additionally train a classifier to predict the text of medical reports or the disease class labels. However, this often requires additional annotations and external medical data sets for knowledge. And moreover, these tags or disease classes only sparsely covering the report information. So therefore, this may result in relatively loosely correlated image and text features. So to better handle the fine grade nature of medical images and reports, we uh, explore methods to, expli to explicitly learn highly correlated visual and text features for medical report generation. And in the following, I will introduce three pieces of our work along this line. Okay, in the first work, we explicitly align image and text features through training an auxiliary task of image text matching in addition to the main task of the report generation in a cooperative way. So for this purpose, uh, we develop a so-called self-boosting framework. So in our framework, we jointly train an auxiliary task of image text matching to learn strongly correlated image text features. 
So the image text matching is a task to uh, predict whether a given pair of image and text is a true match. So therefore, uh, this image text matching task explicitly aligns the image and the text features. So compared with image captioning, image text matching is a well-posed problem with more objective training laws and no need to consider grammar. So uh, in our framework, the main task of report generation and the auxiliary task of image text matching are deeply uh, coupled and they interact with each other uh, in three ways. I will use this diagram to explain the procedure. So here you can see that the uh, report generation task and the image text matching task are built uh, as two branches of a deep learning model. And here this uh, solid line indicates the uh, report generation routine and the dashed line indicates the image text matching routine. So here the RG branch uh, takes an image as input and generates a text report as the output. And it uses a CN model as the image encoder and a hierarchical LSTM model as a text decoder. While the RG branch takes both the report and the image as the input, uh, and it tells whether uh, they are a true match. And this uh, image text matching branch shares the same image encoder uh, as the RG branch. Then during training, this uh, image text matching branch learns strongly correlated image and text features. And so these text correlated image features are used by the RG branch to generate high quality reports. Uh, and at the same time, the report, the report encoder of this uh, ITM branch could also be used to extract the text features. And this will allow the report generation branch to evaluate the similarity, the feature level similarity between the generated report and the ground truth report, as we indicated as the L fit here. So this is in contrast to the common image captioning method, uh, which only use the uh, common cross entropy loss to measure the word level uh, similarity. And more importantly, the improved report generated by this RG branch uh, are sent back to this uh, image text matching branch as the hard negative samples. So this will enforce the ITM branch to keep enhancing its feature learning so that even finer mismatch between the generated report and the image could be uh, identified. So these three types of interactions last for the whole training procedure so that the model could gradually improve itself towards the ultimate report generation. And this is another view about our model. So in this view, we want to illustrate the structure and the loss function of our model. So here, this uh, red box corresponds to the uh, report generation branch and this uh, green box corresponds to the uh, image text matching branch. So now let's have a close look at each component. So in the report generate branch, our image encoder uh, are shown, is shown here. So it detects the image regions and extracts the region, uh, it detects the image regions by using an unsupervised approach. And then it detects the regional features uh, by a, a CNN model and then refine these visual features through a self-attention layer. And this is our text decoder. So in this text decoder, it takes the uh, refined visual features output by the image encoder as the input and send these uh, refined visual features to a hierarchical LSTM uh, catering for the, uh, both the topic level and the word level decoding to generate the report. And this is the image text matching branch. So it shares the same image encoder as the RG branch. Uh, and for the report encoder, uh, which is used to extract the text features, uh, we considered to use the BERT model. So the BERT model is a successful language model, uh, which has been used in various natural language processing uh, tasks. And however, we did not directly employ the uh, vanilla BERT model. Instead, we use the so-called sentence-bird model. 
So this sentence board model uses uh, CMS and, and triplet structure, so making it more suitable uh, for learning semantically meaningful sentence embedding. So now let's have a look at these uh, the, the, the loss terms used in our model. So for the report generation loss, it consists of two terms. The first term is the common cross entropy loss to measure the word level uh, difference. And the second term is the feature level difference between the generated reports uh, indicated by this T hat and the ground truth reports indicated by this T. And here this mapping phi indicates the embedding function of the uh, report uh, encoder of the ITM branch. And our, our ITM loss is a triplet based loss as shown here. So this S indicates a similarity uh, measurement and this R phi is a margin. So here this IF indicates the feature embedding of the image and this TF indicates the feature embedding of its uh, ground truth report. And this TF bar indicates the feature embedding of other reports. So by minimizing this triplet loss here, we enforce that the image IF to stay closer to its report TF than to other reports TF bar. And remember that we would like to use the report generated by the uh, RG branch to enhance the ITM branch. Therefore, we further propose a self-boosted triple loss uh, like this. So here, this TFG indicates the feature embedding of the generated report. So by minimizing this uh, self-boosted triplet loss, we enforce that the generated report TFG stays closer to its image IF than other reports TF bar. Well, at the same time, this generated report TFG is still farther than its ground truth report TF uh, to uh, their image IF here. So this is to enforce the ITM branch to be able to differentiate the generated report and the ground truth report. And this is the overall loss of our model. Okay, so you can see that uh, our RG branch and the, the so, so the interactions between our RG branch and the uh, image uh, text matching branch uh, resembles in some way like the generator and the discriminator used in the GANS model, right? The generative adversary neural network models. However, these two approaches are essentially different. So first. Uh, our model does not use the adversary loss as the GANs models. Right? So our two branches do not compete with each other, but help, each, help with each other in a cooperative way. And second, uh, our two branches share their visual encoder for communication. However, in GANs models, usually the generator and the discriminator do not share features, and they are linked through the adversary loss. Okay, then we uh, validate our proposed model on two benchmarks for medical report generation. The first one is this IUX3 dataset. So this dataset consists of more than 7,000 chest X3 imagers uh, with both the frontal and the lateral views as shown in this example. And it also consists about uh, 4,000 radiography reports. And the second dataset is this COVCTR dataset collected during the pandemic of uh, COVID-19. So it consists of uh, about 700 long CT images, and about half of these images are COVID-19 cases. And the reports in these data sets are originally in Chinese. So we also uh, we, uh, generate and evaluate our reports uh, in Chinese, and we only use uh, Google Translate to convert those reports into English for the display purpose only. So here are the uh, uh, quantitative comparison of the performance between our models and the state-of-the-art image captioning models as well as the medical report generation models. So as you can see that here our models, our model is the best performer uh, on all the, uh, evalu uh, all the uh, evaluation matrix listed in this table. Right? And our advantage is especially pronounced uh, on CIDR. So this is a positive sign 
because this second metric focuses on the key information uh, by downweighting those common words appearing in all reports. So this is a, a favorable property uh, for medical report generation. And here are some example reports generated by our uh, models, as well as the classical show and tell image captioning model and a very recent grounded uh, model. So here, these highlighted sentences are those information in the ground truth reports, uh, which are only generated by our models. Okay, and here are more examples from the IUX3 uh, data set. Here we uh, differently colored these sentences. So this red color indicates the incorrect generation, and this uh, blue color indicates the inexact generation. So this generation are uh, uh, by mean, uh, so, so in their meanings, they are similar to the ground truth report, but they are not the exact expression as in the ground truth report. And this uh, green color indicates the generation, uh, the generation that is exactly the same as the ground truth report. All right, so as you can see that our reports here uh, have more sentences in green. So this indicates our reports are more consistent with the ground truth reports. Okay, and here are more examples on the uh, COVID-19 data set. And here we have a similar observation. Okay, so that's for the uh, first work. And our second work is the extension of the first work by simultaneously consider, uh, considering sample relationships when generating medical reports. So before the prevailing of deep learning models for image captioning, the retrieval-based uh, uh, image captioning models were also employed. So these models uh, generate the uh, image captions by retrieving the captions of those uh, virally similar images from a database. So uh, although these methods are very simple, their performance are not too bad. For example, in the image at leaf uh, caption challenge in 2018, the best performer is a retrieval-based model. So this reflects the benefits of considering sample relationship for captioning. And therefore we are uh, inspired to uh, incorporating sample relationships into the deep learning models for medical report generation. And our basic idea is to align the image sample space and the report sample space to obtain consistent feature embeddings for the images and the reports. So specifically, we construct the graph of image samples and the graph of report, sa report samples. So in these graphs, each node corresponding to either an image sample or a report sample. Then we will make use of the uh, graph of the embedded ground truth reports uh, as a target to train the graph of the embedded images. So in this way, uh, so by requiring that these two graphs to have the similar structure, uh, we could uh, achieve uh, the, the results that the uh, two similar but different ground truth reports were corresponding to uh, two close but different viral embeddings. Uh, and this uh, sample graph consistency uh, is implemented uh, in a batch-wise way. So in each batch, we construct a ground truth, report, a ground truth uh, reports graph uh, indicated by this WT and also like an image uh, graph, which indicated by this WI. And we normalize these two graphs into WT uh, uh, hat and WI hat. And by minimizing this uh, cross entropy loss here, uh, the structure difference between these two gr uh, graphs uh, is minimized. And this uh, sample graph consistency loss can be integrated into our self boosting framework as an additional regularization to the report generation. So this is the view about the structure of our extended model. So here, uh, to extend our self-boosting framework here, we replace the uh, hierarchical LSTM text decoder by a transformer, by a memory augmented transformer here. And we add in the 
a sample graph consistency regularization. So we uh, validate uh, our model on uh, the uh, largest uh, medical report generation benchmark, this MIMIC CXR newly, and our models outperforms uh, those uh, certain uh, methods in this field. And the necessity of incorporating, the benefits of incorporating the sample relationships can be observed by uh, these uh, results in our ablation study by uh, comparing the performance of our baseline models uh, with and without using this uh, sample graph uh, contrastive loss, a uh, consistency loss, sorry. Okay, now I will uh, uh, come to our third piece of work. Uh, so in this work, we train a pure transformer model with multi-criteria supervision. Then why do we need a pure transformer model for medical report generation? So uh, remember that to generate the, uh, for the fine grid recognition, so those image captioning models could use the object detector to localize the key regions of interest and extract regional features um, as, a represent, as a visual representation. However, for almost all medical report generation models, have, they have to rely on the pre-trained CN models to extract the image level representation as the visual representation. This is because the medical report generation data sets rarely have the ground truth object bounding box for us to fine tune those uh, uh, object detectors pre-trained on nature images. So therefore, based on a pure transformer model, uh, our method could circumvent the need of generating region proposals while exploring regional features and relationships. So the, the transformer is a sort of a, a language model used in uh, NLP, uh, and it is initially designed to uh, explore the relationship of the input tokens, such as the words of a sentence. So the transformer model uh, has recently also achieved the success in many vision recognition tasks through the vision transformer, the VIT. So in contrast to those uh, typical imaging, image processing models using CNN, so vision transformers partition an image into small patches, and they explore the relationship between different portions of the images. The Im uh, image transformer has achieved better performance on image classification than CNNs. Okay, on the other hand, let's recall the challenges we mentioned before about the medical report generation. So remember that the first challenge is that the medical images and the reports are very similar to each other. Therefore, their visual difference, their key visual difference are fine grid. Right? So to handle this challenge, an uh, uh, objective of image text matching uh, is tactically proposed to learn highly correlated image and text features. And the second challenge is uh, about the, uh, is that the disease-related words may be submerged by uh, many common words describing the common content of the images. So to handle these challenges, an uh, objective, a multi-label multi classification objective uh, to predict the uh, medical text is employed as well as a term weight scheme uh, to adjust the, the importance of words for training. So this is an overview of our pure transformer-based model. So this model is trained under multi-criteria supervision to, uh, to handle the uh, fine grid characteristic of medical report generation. Okay, and this is a closer look. So here you can see that the images are partitioned into small patches. And these small patches are further processed by a linear projection layer. And then their embeddings are sent into three transformer encoder layers. And each layer consists of the, the multi-head attention, the MSA, the feed forward, FF, and the layer normalization, LN, as we show here. Right. So the fundamentals of this uh, MSN uh, relies in the concept of self-attention. 
and this self-attention is computed based on three vectors. They are the uh, queries QI, the keys KI, and the values VI. So these vectors are the linear projections of the feature embedding Z. And the output of the transformer encoder can be, uh, 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 consists of two parts, right? So the red part indicates uh, image level or global level features. And this feature is used by the multi-label classification task to predict medical text. And this green part here uh, are the image region embeddings and they are sent into the transformer decoder to generate the report. Okay, and then our text decoder uh, has the three uh, transformer decoder layers. Right? It takes the visual features and uh, both the visual features and the embedding of the report as the input. So, so and each uh, the decoder layer consists of the common, the uh, MSA, the feed forward, as well as the memory driven uh, layer normalization. And rather than directly using the output of the last decoder layers as the, out, uh, as the fused feature, we uh, instead average the output of all these layers as the fused features for image and text information. So in medical report generation, the vocabulary of the reports usually faces the uh, long tail issue. So this means that uh, some uh, critical words uh, may uh, appear at a relatively low frequency, while some less important common words may appear uh, much more frequently. So therefore, to uh, deal with this issue, uh, we use the well-established TF, TF-IDF uh, measurements used in information retrieval. And then we use these uh, measurements uh, to produce uh, term-weighted report generation laws to adjust the importance of uh, uh, each word. And also based on the output of the transformer encoder, we introduce the uh, multi-label classification task to uh, for medical tag prediction. And this is a common uh, cross-entropy loss used for the multi-class classification. And the incorporation of the image text matching is not straightforward. This is because the report generation task and the image text matching task share the same network model. But these two tasks have their different ways of using the image and the text information. For example, in the report generation, uh, it uses the visual features and the previous word to uh, predict the next word. So this is implemented by mask the sentence uh, with a shift right, but covers the sentence with a shift right mask, as we indicated as this white part here, to generate the uh, prediction of the next word step by step. Right. So, so this is known as the masked self attention in transformer, and we can see that at the early steps of this uh, masked attention, which corresponds to these uh, bottom rows here. Right. So we can see that each sentence. Is the, the large portion of each sentence is masked off, right? So only a small portion of the sentence, which are the blurry areas here, are used to match the whole image, right? So this will cause an, in, in, an imba, imbalance issue uh, between the image and the report information in the image text matching, right? So we can see that this uh, text information gradually increase when more and more words are uh, unmasked, and eventually the whole sentence will be taken into consideration to match the whole image, right? So deal with this issue, we additionally propose a temporal or weighting uh, function uh, like this uh, green curve here. So this is a monotonically increasing function and, uh, as uh, defined in this way, right? So this, functions, this function gives high weight to the uh, later fused feature because it contains more text content. Right. So we evaluate, so we benchmark our uh, model on the largest MIMIC CXR data set. Uh, and here, these uh, highlighted sentences are those uh, key informations that are only, predict, uh, only generated by our model. So these are the uh, quantitative comparison results here. 
And again, you can see that our model achieves promising performance on its mimic CXR data set compared with other short-term methods. And uh, I would like you to pay attention to these two, uh, the, the results of these two lines here. Right? So the first line here corresponds to our models using the uh, image text matching, but not using the temporal weighting. And the second line here is our models not using the uh, image text matching at all. So here you can see that, right? So if we use image text matching, but not use the temporal weighting, the results could be even worse than uh, without than without using the uh, image text matching entirely. Right? So this uh, supports our previous analysis about the masked self-attention mechanism and uh, indicates the necessity of our proposed image, uh, of our proposed temporal weighting scheme for image text trip, uh, for image text matching. Okay, and here is a brief summary about this talk. Mm, and thank you, and uh, uh, you are welcome for the questions. Thank you, Dr. Joe, for the very nice presentation. Um, now we already got a uh, one question there uh, from uh, uh, Guarov. Um, that's a question: Which kind of uh, report encoder is used here? That actually refers to the first part of your uh, method. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here, so this is the image encoder we use in our first first work. Okay. So this is actually basically still like a CNN based model. So usually, uh, in the uh, for the in the image captioning or the medical report generation, they will use a pre-trained CN model to uh, extract the image level features, right? And as uh, so we argued um, in, in in my talk, that these kind of image level features uh, may not uh, reflect the fine grid patterns within the image, right? So to um, uh, deal with this difficulty, right? So we uh, actually we uh, apply a unsupervised method unsupervised selective search to detect the image regions in the image. And then we use the CN models to, uh, so here we use the ResNet, for example, the ResNet models, right, to uh, the pre-trained ResNet models to extract the features from each image region. And then we use the self-attention mechanism to uh, consider the relationships between different image regions to generate uh, image level uh, representation. So this is uh, like a, a, a feature vector. For the viral uh, for the viral content. Okay, thank you. So I have a, a question on this part. So, how do you train the uh, uh, region detection using the unsupervised approach? So this actually, yeah, this is a very good question. And actually, let me show here. Sorry. Oh, okay, so here. So, so, so this is just like the selective search, right? So here we uh, set, we, so we, we, we set the mean size uh, to be like 2000 uh, uh, regions uh, and we exclude those extremely smaller regions. And so, and we also set some threshold here to, uh, to, to select those uh, relatively uh, regular regions there. Mm -hmm. So, but actually, um, although we use this uh, kind of selective search can provide us some uh, region proposals, Actually, we should see that because this is an unsupervised method. So here you can see that actually the generated image regions are still very large and uh, not very fine grid, right? So, and sometimes we find that these kind of uh, region proposals uh, are not very informative, actually. So then that's why we uh, later on we consider to uh, develop a pure transformer based model. Because in the pure transformer based models, we only need to regularly partition the images into regular image patches, right? We don't need to care about the, uh, gen the generation of region proposals. So in this way, we can circumvent this problem here and we can still explore the regional features and also like the relationship between regional features. So that's why we propose to develop the uh, pure uh, transformer based model. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Thank you. Um, I have a, a, another question with the, uh, re regarding to the third part of the transformer based method. Okay. Uh, so there, um, how do you compute the loss for the generated words? Do you compute loss word by word? Uh, okay. So, yeah. So here for the, um, usually for the, um, 
common uh, image captioning method. So they use uh, cross entropy laws to, yeah, as you mentioned, that they generate the report word by word. So they use the cross, cross entropy laws, which is like the uh, like the multi class classification, right? So they will predict uh, whether uh, the, uh, gen the 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 word. Uh, so uh, whether the generated word belongs to uh, each class of the vocabulary in the vocabulary, right? So at the beginning, we will maintain a vocabulary of all the reports. Then uh, each uh, word in the vocabulary will be treated as a class, right? Then we uh, generate a, a, a word, uh, and then we will yeah, see whether it, it belongs to each of these uh, classes mm -hmm. in the vocabulary. So that's the common uh, classification cross entropy laws. Uh, however, as we argued that, so this just uh, measures the word level uh, similarity between the generated reports and the ground truth reports. So then that's why in the first piece of work, by incorporating the image text matching, we can also generate the uh, feature level similarity because we have a report encoder which could be used to extract the text features. So in this way, actually, uh, we have, um, but in this uh, third piece of work here, um, Actually, because here we share the same uh, network model, so here we don't have the feature level similarity. So that's uh, actually like a further work that we need to consider how to incorporate these uh, uh, types of information. Okay, great, thank you. I, I like the uh, idea of uh, term importance weighting. Uh, that's actually very interesting. Uh, really deep into the uh, uh, amount head um, self attention module, look at it actually how the uh, Transformer uh, generates those uh, masked um, mm -hmm. self attention words. Right? Very interesting. Okay, thank you. Just this work. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Here, right? Yeah. Um, so, another uh, more uh, general question that uh, uh, how, yeah, how well is the performance of the current uh, method? I, I study you to actually uh, compare your method with a bunch of other uh, state of ours methods on the um, uh, uh, IU data set and also the uh, Mimic data set. Mimic data set is pretty large. Right? So mm -hmm. there actually you can get uh, uh, the performance evaluated on the large data set. But how far away is that from the uh, uh, clinical use? What do you think? Um, I think that this uh, uh, kind of work, the medical report generation, is still in its early stage of development. So um, although the performance actually is better than what I expected at the beginning, so I didn't ex expect to see uh, the, these kinds of reports as a, uh, w w before I started um, con uh, doing this research in this field. However, but we still have to um, acknowledge that so this uh, there is still distance uh, from the clinical use uh, for these current models. Actually, compare with these uh, those uh, image captioning models on nature images. And so we can see that um, those um, measurements, such as the cider, the meteor, or those say, those uh, blue blue one to blue four measurements, actually we can see that those uh, numbers uh, actually are uh, so this performance actually um, significantly drops compared with those uh, 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 image captioning models on nature images. So we can see that this task actually is very challenging. So you still we still need more researchers to join this field. And to uh, develop this field. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I um, agree with that. Uh, uh, one of the difficulties you mentioned earlier of your talk, you said uh, the uh, natural images they actually have very kind of uh, different appearances right, associated with the, uh, their caption. But for medical images, they all look very similar. Right? They are like uh, green skull images. Right? It's, it's very hard to associate this with the, I mean, actually ask the computer algorithm to generate the report from those very similar images. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And also, for example, like in those uh, image captioning uh, models, they could use the object detector to localize those key regions. But mm -hmm. here for the medical report generation, in the nature scenario, right, in the clinical scenario, actually usually we don't have this kind of bounding boxes um, to help us to locate those key informations. So uh, that uh, actually makes this uh, task more challenging. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. to to achieve like the fine grade level of recognition. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, we have another two questions from uh, Gaurav. Um, one is, is the vocabulary size effect on the generating clinical report? Um, yes, yeah, actually the vocabulary um, 
Currently, the vocabulary we use is just like the summary. It's just like a summary of all the words in the uh, data set. Okay. So it's a very large one. <laughs> yeah, a very large one. Yeah. Okay. Another question is: uh, As IU data set has smaller vocabulary as compared to Mimic, so do you actually use the same vocabulary on the two data sets, or uh, each data set has its own vocabulary? Uh, currently, yeah, for each data set, we use a different vocabulary. As I mentioned, because now the vocabulary is just like the collection of all the words in the data set. So yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. But I okay. agree, there should be a common vocabulary that should be applied to, for example, like to all these uh, chess X3 uh, report generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it seems actually that's uh, all the uh, questions. So, uh, uh, Lupin, thank you very much again for uh, giving us this wonderful talk. Uh, I really enjoyed learning uh, this uh, report generation. Thank you very much. I, I cherish this uh, chance to uh, advocate my research. Thank you very much. Great. Yeah. Thank you. I'll post the the uh, video link to our uh, web page pretty soon. Okay. Thank you very much. All bye right. bye. Thank you. Thank you all for attending. Bye.